in light of all of the birth rate trend topics that I've been talking about, this old article is quite appropriate to have a discussion on. This is out of Spain. Men who received paid paternity leave want fewer children. Parents who received paid paternity leave took longer to have another child and men's desire for more children dropped. A study in Spain has found the progressive reform towards gender equality may have changed the way men in the Mediterranean country see fertility. The introduction of paternity leave in Spain, like in other countries, was part of a set of policies designed to promote gender equality in both the labor market and at home, said Libertad Gonzalez, one of the researchers behind the report. It was also to promote fertility. Spain is a low fertility country, Gonzalez said, but it seemed to have the opposite effect. According to the study, which was recently published in the Journal of Public Economics by Gonzalez and Lydia Fare, professors from the Spain's Universidad Pompeu Fabru and the University of Barcelona, respectively, the introduction of paid paternity leave has led to delays in fertility for eligible Spanish couples, with many waiting longer to have additional children. Additionally, the reform made men drop their desired number of children. This is not necessarily a negative outcome. The researchers found fathers spent more time with their offspring. They're spending more time with the child they already have, Gonzalez said. So her theory is that they could value investing more in this child versus having more of them. Or it could also be that dads are learning about how hard it is to take care of a child. And this new information is affecting their preferences for how many children they want to have in total. Fare and Gonzalez initially set, to, set out to study the effects of paid paternity leave on Spanish gender equality in the labor market. They found that women who had given birth went back to work earlier and took less unpaid leave, a positive effect of the labor market attachment for mothers, while there was no effect for men in the labor market. However, the subsequent delayed fertility due to the mandate was unexpected. Fare and Gonzalez identified two possible reasons why this may be. One idea is simply that mothers, when their partner is eligible for paternity leave, they go back to work a little earlier. This could mean that these moms are just more attached to the labor market. So that's why they might delay a little bit having the next child. Prior to the introduction of the reform, men were more likely to desire more children than their partners and spent less time with their offspring, researchers said. Additionally, fathers in Spain were making little to no use of parental leave and did little housework, according to the Spanish Times study cited in the new report. After the policy was introduced, researchers determined fathers who would have been eligible for paternity leave did almost an hour more childcare a day from 2009 to 2010 compared to ineligible fathers. However, Farah says, this may be very specific to the Spanish case and one has to be careful before extrapolating these results to other countries. Gonzalez expressed a fear of, of possible reversal due to low birth rates. I think both the government and more in general, Spanish society um, wouldn't support extensions and paternity leave if we show that they are actually leading to important reductions in fertility. But even so, Fare and Gonzalez are hopeful for their next round of research, testing whether paternity leave can affect the way that children think about gender roles. Perhaps for the next generation, generation we could see the effects of gender inequality. I mean, gender equality. I love this because so many men don't do the the late nights, the crying consistent, the consistent crying babies. They don't have the time because they don't have the paternity leave. But when they get to do the parenting full time, then they see how hard it is. And that's one of the reasons why we know, we know for certain that many of these men in these countries that have a dropping birth rate are not actively talking to women and they are not actively engaged parents because they would know and understand firsthand why women are opting out of um, having babies. Something else I want to point out that is appropriate for the United States that we saw was the push for men to get back into the workforce after the COVID-19 mandates and after the whole work from home situation. 
they don't necessarily want to work from home, whereas women are able to maintain a career and a little bit more work by balance if they're able to work from home because women are typically the ones doing most of the caretaking, whereas the dads can't wait to escape back to the office because housework and child rearing are jobs of their own, but they tend to be women women's jobs, so they are unpaid and un unappreciated and undervalued. So when they have to take this paternity leave and they have to be hands on, then they see firsthand how challenging it is. And I love that for them. I'm glad that these researchers were able to find that correlate. And to bring it into this year, Spain's birth rate is still low. Spain's birth rate drops to lowest level since records began over 80 years ago. Spain's birth rate has dropped to its lowest level since the since records started in 1941. Provisional data from its National Statistics Institute showed on Wednesday with just over 322,000 babies, adding to the country's population of 48.6 million in 2023. Last year, Spanish birth rate was down 2% compared with 2022, adding to the drop of almost 25% in a decade. This decline has left Spain with the second lowest fertility rate in the EU. Eurostat data from 2021 shows lagging Malta. Eurostat's data showed the rate in Spain at 1.19 live births per woman compared to the EU average of 1.53, both far, far short of the 2.1 at which existing population levels would be maintained without immigration. Demographers and economists have urged Europe to rethink attempts to boost its flagging birth rate, and some Spanish regions have introduced financial measures and tax deductions to encourage people to start families. It is true that childbearing is no longer generalized life aspiration. Women want to have a career. People want to do certain things before they start a family. That is Marta Ciaz, a Madrid-based university professor specialized in family sociology, demography, and inequality. Economic uncertainty, unemployment, low-quality jobs, and soaring housing prices are some of the reasons why Spaniards were either getting pregnant later or having fewer children than they had originally intended, Ciaz added. Although Spain has equalized policies of paternity and maternity leave, Ciaz said the measures are still inefficient, I mean, sorry, insufficient. INE said the decline in births was linked to a delay in the age of childbearing, with the number of women over 40 giving birth rising by 19.3% in the last decade. This age group now gives birth to around 10% of all children versus 6.8 in 2013. Mothers under um, mothers aged under 25 fell by 26% in the same period, representing just 9.4% of the total. This is a global phenomenon. Women in their 20s are not wanting to have kids. They are wanting to get financially stable, get their education. This is a global thing. Plus, maybe women in the past didn't want to have that many kids. They just didn't have choices. Women have choices, and instead of getting to the root of this issue, they keep saying the same thing just in a different accent because these global leaders will not talk to women. So I thought that would be interesting to bring up. Um, just for reference, the United States is sitting at about 1.6 as far as our birth rate is concerned. So our birth rate is still obviously below the, re the replacement level. And I am hoping that, um, you know, with the way women's rights and women are being targeted, that our birth rate continues to plummet to hell because many, many of these countries don't deserve babies the way they treat women and mothers specifically. And, you know, I think that this birth rate will continue to plummet and we will continue to watch the global birth rates over here on my channels. All right, jump in the comments. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.